Well, this is my sixth attempt, I believe, one, two, three, four, fifth attempt at printing the ghost crab. My first attempt, I did it without a raft and I was too close to the bed. So all the joints fused to the crab and then nothing, nothing was moving. So that was trash. That was even after I printed a test piece, but even with my test piece, uh, it was, there's a lip here. I was just way too close to the bed when I printed it. So this test piece printed at 100%. Uh, the joints worked, but they don't pop out like they're supposed to. Since then, I've printed a couple times and done some stuff. Did another test piece with the settings I've got for this print. And using the B side, which is the looser tolerances, the uh, joint works, but the A side does not. So feel pretty comfortable with that. I mean, I've gotten some good prints. This one I, I think was printed on a raft. The joints were a little tight. Made some changes, uh, joints move on this one, but the claws are, you can maybe see that, I don't know. There's little joints in all of these and none of them were working. Then I decided I'm just gonna print a red one and I changed some parameters and one of the jaws worked a little better. So this time I've changed it with the horizontal ex expansion and uh, <clears throat> let's see how it turns out. And I also just printed it directly on the, uh, the bed. I did not use a raft with this one. But on my bed, I've had issues with uh, my Z axis. So this time I've raised my Z axis up a little bit. I think it was 0.5. Maybe could have gone just a little further. Because <clears throat> there's like a, a film right here. Cut those with the exacto. But they're freeing up real nicely, except for that one. That one's kind of tight. You can see it's kind of fused into the uh, piece. There we go. And the way this is designed, you should be able to pop each one of the legs out if you were to break one and replace it. But the key thing on this print, using the horizontal uh, thing, was I was wanting to see if the this would free up my claws and my didn't seem to be. <clears throat> Put quite a bit of pressure on those, and they're not moving. At least on some of my other prints, the uh, claws, you can see there's a joint and then there's another joint for the claw itself, but they're not freeing up for me. So, and then each one of these is uh, supposed to move also. So maybe they'll free up when I play with it. Maybe they won't. If not, this will be the crab. And there's a way you turn the, the legs. You gotta work them a little bit, you know, right off of a print. <clears throat> and then, the little guy will stand up when you put them down.
So it's kind of a neat little print. I like it. It's fun. If I can get the claws and whatnot to move, it'd be a little more interesting. So there you have the ghost crab.